Okay, like I was trying to say, to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to mess around with you guys nowhere. This is your last warning, aiding betting criminals in Reno County, Cedric County, Wichita, and turning around slandering people's names. Uh, Mr. Mike Nisley of Reno County, Arlington, Kansas, um, you, you are particularly going to be going to Steve Wilkos, brother. And when you go to Steve Wilkos, there's going to be some shit said about you. And you're a truck driver, right? You better not step foot out of your truck. You'll be safer that way. Because when everybody finds out what you are, bro, you know, fuck your ass up in the world. No matter what the charge may be. Because they're going to know what you've done to an 11-year-old girl. Everybody, I've showed previous video of this with the guy in it. I am warning you right now, this is going from Melissa Hart at St. Francis as well, and Alexa, that got fired, and Erica, that is going to be fired, for the false reputations and the false information that she did not put all together like she was supposed to. So, I hope you guys are ready for this, because I do have the lawsuit paperwork ready for you. Let me go get it real quick, and I'll even turn the light on for you guys to see. Let me get a couple more puffs and I'm grabbing the paperwork. But you guys ain't gonna like this. And Selena, thank you for fucking me over, my boys. You had him when they were six month when he was six months old town. You decided to go out the butler telling me I'll never see my kids again. Thank you, Teresa, for lying like you did saying that. Oh, you didn't delete the voicemails, but you did, and you told me. So you're a two faced person. I will get you in court, Teresa. Same with your daughter and your pretty little husband and pretty little son too. Remember that Kansas bottle. You're gonna melt like that witch, like a candy, piece of sugar. When the rain hits the ground, suspect it. You're gonna go to prison for that shit. So we got her. You guys won't get your kid back. And Matt, you will lose your right as a deputy when I'm done with you, homeboy. You better resign right now while you have a chance, Matthew Adams. Because this right here. As you can see, is your statutes in Kansas, federal law, this right here, is going to put an ass whooping on all of you. Same with you, Michael, nicely. See this right here, this black folder? That's federal. They only come in black folders, buddy. When it comes to federal, black folders, buddy. These are the worst ones you could ever get on you. Right here, Michael Nisley, Wichita. Cedar County, Selena, Teresa, David, Matt Adams, and a whole bunch more that wants to run their mouth about me. All that paperwork just in this part right here is all the same paperwork in multiple scripts. Same, is that the new one with the girl? Same with this one here. Is it all pages of suits? So, yeah, well, Michael Nisley, I think you might want to go on Steve Wilkos, because I don't think he would be willing to get on a lie detector test, bitch. Call me a pussy-ass bitch again. Shut up, pussy bitch. See what happens. Because I guarantee you won't step toe-to-toe -to, -toe to me in the streets, let alone in the ring, homie. So that tells you right there, you rather run to your Amish kind, be hidden by your Amish kind. I know what you guys do. Your religion's fucking not older than anybody else's. Your religion... Is actually Wiccan. Am I right or wrong, hun? It has some Wiccan based tendencies. Doesn't it have symbols of Wiccan? Yes. Say it loud enough because it's TV. Yes. So, idea wise, if you look up Amish, uh, you look up Mennonites, the reason why I call you Mennonites only men at night is because you could never be a man at day. You can only be a man at night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like fucking my sister or my cousin on the field because I'm Amish and Mennonite. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, little girl. Why don't you get your boyfriend on the show? Because if he doesn't go on the show and tell all the truth about what he has to tell the truth and he does not pop up clear on a lie tester test, that is sign of act conviction. And if your name is Neighbors Dawn... And you used to date Barbara Neighbor's brother? Uh, girl, you know what? You're in trouble. 
because that is Sarah Crawford's mother. Barbara Neighbors allowed my six-year-old daughter, five-year-old daughter, to be molested by some freaking pervert that she got with. So, yeah. Trust me on that. And the daddy wants to threaten by sending a bunch of people. Hell's Angels? I know Hell's Angels, dude. You don't know shit. Don't I, hun? Mm -hmm. Don't I know a lot of gangbangers and cops and federal and a bunch of other people, right? Yep. A lot more people than what they think I know that has more power than they do. So right there, uh, Don Neighbors, why don't you tell your boyfriend, Michael Nisley, and I don't give a fuck, you sue me for slander. Because you know what? Mike's going to get the worst of it in federal because they ain't going to mess with him. And this right here, Mike Nisley, is your death warrant in court. You are a chomo. You are around this girl's kids. You have not paid your payment until October. You owe three months of payments, four months of payments again, right? Correct. On top of it, uh, 2016 taxes. Half of 2016 taxes. Half of 2016 taxes. Uh, $1,000 for $1, the $1,000. The vehicle that I got in the divorce. Thousand dollars on a repair on a vehicle that needs to be worked on that you won't pay unless you get a little jerky jerky from her. That I woke up to you talking to her why you're drunk. And that's no excuse, boy. I should slap the dog taste out of your mouth for even trying that shit. Yeah, it was before dawn, but it was why I was with your girlfriend that you're with at the time. You call her crazy? You say, witches is Maggie? No, I'm sorry, homie. Maggie is no witch, because I could prove that. Your family practicing herbal medicine, for one. Two, homeopath remedies. Three, let's go any farther, pentagrams. And don't say it's the God David Star, because it's not. Because I know how the David Star goes, because that's Jewish to them, motherfucker. And Maggie tell you, you don't want to play me there. I got a black person's wide nose. And if you look, I have the Jewish look. I have the fat lips like a black person. My hair is frizzy, curly, and wavy just like a black person's. But the only thing is, I have Asian, Native American, African American, Mexican, white and this is all religion all the freaking races which counts all religions muslim uh israel egyptian and all that stuff mixed into me because you want to know why i am the kettle pot child i am the melting pot child i am all bloods into one all nations into one so, Mike, I think the Sea Scroll religion is the oldest religion, to be honest, which was before Hebrew time of Jesus Christ, of Latter-day Saints type attitude. So take your high and mighty Mennonite ass down the road because you're only a man at night. That's why I call you Mennonites or man at nights. You ain't no knights in shining armor. You're the only man at night. You come in at night being a man. But as soon as the day runs, shows up, you run back home to be Amish. And be all that you can be of the Amish and Mennonite community. To get away with shit when you get in trouble. You're like a fucking vampire, a thief, a murderer. And since I'm on that topic... Do you want to say what your daughter said and you said for the camera without being seen? He's murdered our family. Is that family your words? Had? No, those are my daughter's words. He murdered our family. 11-year-old girl, 12-year-old girl. 13 now. 13 now. And you want to know something fucked up? You made her disgusted of all people, sexual type deal, attitude-wise. And trust me, Mike, if Steve hears about this and finds out you're lying and the girl finds out you're lying, 
Not only you're a lying ass dog, you're also a lying ass bitch. So, lad, go play with your lab, because that's between your legs. Let alone, it doesn't help when your family slanders me. And other girlfriends to make you look good, buddy. To find you another girl. That's pretty sad. That you have to slander your own ex-wife who divorced you. Went and got divorce papers to divorce you. To try to save her family. To try to keep her kids. And then... The divorce papers weren't even finalized. And you are already trying to hook up with another person. And I'm not wearing And lipstick. several other people. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike. Which caused me to have a mental <laughs> breakdown due to the fact of what happened to me as a child. You did to my own daughter, and then you turned around and blamed me for it. Saying it was my fault because I wasn't loving and cuddly mm. enough for you. When I do recall, I would come up and try to give you hugs, kisses, and you would tell me to back off and get away that you didn't want to be touched. Honey, could I get a kiss real quick? And then you turn around and drink. Got to get a kiss real quick? Go into Show video games? Show what a man wants. I got video games too, nigga. Guess what? Do I play my video games more or do I spend more time with you kissing, cuddling, and going out and doing stuff? Like a man should. Spend more time with me. <gasps> and you don't drink. Oh, Only on special occasions. my God. But I don't touch little kids, do I? No, you don't. Only time I touch him is by giving him a hug and let him give me a kiss and tell him goodnight, sweet dreams, niece, nephew. Gabe. Gabe, my son. Yes, I'll claim him as my son because he needs a father. And his, this father needs a son. Because my sons were taken away because of Selena Adams. And if the Everado Butler County uh, District Court wants to play games, you'll be lined up for that lawsuit too. Trust me. And that lawyer will lose his malpractice license with Matt threatening me. If I ever come out to the property, he'll have me arrested. Even your deputy that's higher than you that was on the road patrol said, if you ever fuck with me, I call him. He'll come out and get my kids for me and tell him you have no right to control me and tell me what to do and get me for trespassing. Because you did not have a court order at the time because your mama lied about that shit. So yeah, Matt, wait the fuck up. You're full of snakes. Your whole family is, and my boys will not be raised with a bunch of demons and heathens and snakes like you because you're the wrong heathens to be messing with. You might want to listen to that song real good again, Heathens, because you don't know what a heathen is, not the ones in prison. It's the psychotic motherfuckers like me that are insane but perfectly sane. That's why I kept playing the heathen song for you. I am actually very insane at the time. Sane, if you guys get what I mean, and she can tell you what I mean by that. I am not motherfucking Superman or the Cape Crusader Chomo Batman. I am the motherfucking Joker. That is the alias I live by, besides my name, not Mr. Lawson. So, guess what, city? Time to burn. Time for suits to get done. I told you a lie is like a wildfire. And guess what, Mike? His lies are what? A wildfire, right? Yeah, and they're going to finally get him up because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. So, let's do this. We triple dog dare you, challenge you to go to Steve Wilkos, to clear your name and prove otherwise that we are liars. And if we are liars, hold on. If we are liars, Mr. Nisley, put it this way, I will shut my mouth 100% proudly and stand by it. But until then, you owe and you will pay. Because you know what? All it takes is my name to be cleared. And she could tell you that. 
and I get my money back, I'm going to have so much money that's going to take you to cleaners and put you in Brokeville and imprisoned for the rest of your fucking miserable Christian wannabe life. Wannabe Jesus' life. And I don't give a fuck if you don't care or not. Because the reason why you don't care and the reason why you're paying Maggie is to pay her to shut up. But as soon as she didn't shut up and she got on your ass talking about you being a chomo and shit like that, what conspired there, hun? Did he not pay you this month? No, he didn't. Or did you go buy fireworks and take the kids out to Frontier City again or somewhere real nice? When you owe bills, nigga, I pay my bills, then I'll take my kids out. But in the time that I get my name cleared, I have no bills to worry about. Because I'm going to be rolling in millions. And you know why? It's money that's owed me. That's been mine for a long time. So remember this, Seven Nation Army cannot hold me back. What think you can, nigga? Even the Al-Qaeda couldn't even put me down. Do you think you're going to really put me down, motherfucker? If the Chinese triads couldn't put me down, nigga, do you think you could put me down? And I'll tell you right now, I have no beef with triads because I actually like the Yakuza and triad because they're pretty cool about their ways. I just don't want to be fucked with. If people can't put me down like the blood Steve Vaughn, how the fuck do you think you're going to put me down? If motherfuckers on the streets can't put me down, how do you think you're going to put me down, nigga? You can't. And I'll tell you right now, I'm trained hand-to-hand. And when me and Maggie's play wrestling, who's the one that usually wins? Like you. the game of card of bullshit. You. And do I play bullshit very well by being honest? Yeah. That's a sad thing. So guess what? The way I lie is honesty. It's the truth. I ain't no lying ass dog like you, boy. I ain't the same type of dog like you. I might lie around in the sun to bask, to tan, to look good, but I don't lie there just to, oh, save my ass, save my ass. I can't get in trouble. I'm afraid I get in trouble. I lose everything because what I did to a little 11 year old girl. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. Drunk is no excuse. If you put yourself in the other shoes, you wouldn't like it. You'd be doing the same that Maggie's doing. Logically, no common either. sense. PTS is no excuse. Because I have PTS, nigga. Real PTS, I'm to you. You don't know what PSTD is. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic syndrome disorder. You don't know what that is. I'm the dick o -matic. I'm the dick that fucks little assholes like you from behind while I'm getting ahead while I'm at it. I have people going against the city of Wichita showing videos to me how they unhook cameras and stuff and they were recording everything. And the city of Wichita was trying to screw them over. I got evidence, city of Wichita. I got people to back me here. You might want to stand down on your little threat. Your little, oh, go ahead and sue us. We don't care no more. You're just pulling shit trying to get your way. Uh, guess what? I will have my way. Judge Abbott, you're losing your job. Same with Gladys Williams. Same with the rest of you back, back a dirt bag, fucking douche nozzles, douche bags. Because trust me, Maggie will tell you right now. Is all my charges false? Like I said in all the other videos, fake. Impro improperly prosecuted. Miranda rights never read. Yes. As my mother died at 42 years of age of a stroke because of the city of Wichita, Center County, failing to do Due their jobs. stress-related issues, yes. Because gang members threatened my family, kill them. Fucking people that lived across the street threatened to kill us. 
From what I've been told by your whole family and others who have known your family, yes. What about the drug charge I got when my shit got stolen from me by Mayor Amanda and Scott Andrea? And put it this way, why were they in my fucking house? Even messing with relics that they shouldn't be messing with. War relics and shit like that and tobacco pipes they shouldn't even been fucking with. They shouldn't have been. Because those were actually linked to a spiritual plane, each one of them. Yeah, you know what I study? Alchemy. You know what also I study? Native American. Each stone represents a power. Amethyst. Same with all the others I had. So really, you owe me, City of Wichita, guns, knives, vehicles. Same with you, Jed. I told you, Jed. I told you. I warned you. Didn't I show you the messages Loretta said that Jed yes. stole my truck? And didn't Loretta say that Jed took her trailer and shit? Yep. So, Jed, I warned you it's going to come back and bite you in ass. So, you know what, Jed? I'm sorry. It ain't going to save you. Jed's mama, if you know who I'm talking about, Jed Valaris or Varis. That's from Goodyear, Arizona. That's in Arizona. That lived in Arizona. Uh, also lived in Kansas, Wichita, off, uh, what was it, Patty Street? Yeah, you told me it was Patty Street. Oh, yeah, does that sound familiar? Hang out with Chris Barnett, Burnett, and Mike, Teresa, and let's see, who else? Talisa, mm, let's see, who else? Uh, Loretta, Jay, Barrett, uh, Pete. Uh, who else at the time? I cock off real fast. Oh, yeah, Leanne. How did that taste of the mayor bitch's organs in your mouth not worsen for two weeks? You know why I did that? Because you fucked my homeboy David over, and you fucked me over trying to play a game that you thought you are going to win. And yeah, Talisa, you got a cute little bare ass, just to warn you. But I wouldn't want to touch you now after all the needles you put in your fucking arm and the nasty motherfuckers you fucked. So I got a girl. And she would have touched you, but because of what you did, she told me no. Am I right, hon? Mm hmm. So she could find better. So put it this way for the rest of you pack of pussies, Linda K., uh, Joe Randy Castle Jr., Chomo, allegedly. Uh, quite a few other people that has ran their mouth about me. Becky, Sister Becky, of the Whoop Whoop Saints, Juggalo Saints. You know who I'm talking about. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. No problems between me and you, Matt, or me and you, Tommy, or me and you, Bri Bri, or any of you, because I've already told Maggie the way I feel about you guys. You guys side with that motherfucker? You're going to lie down with that bitch and learn a lesson. She's going to get a charge against her that she ain't going to want. And she fucks me any type of way by saying Serenials after me. Or the Norianials. Or any of the gang members of the Crips. I guarantee you my cousin BZ will be there to tell you. You're fucking with the wrong person. And I'm telling you right now, Becky. Keep my fucking name out of your stinky little fake ass mouth same with stephanie win skittles same with ricky allens same with james pomazent and the rest of the pack of the pussies chris as well better keep his fucking name out of my mouth because if i had herps would you have herps yes i'd have herps and i wouldn't be able to donate Neither would I. Look at this here. Two donation places that takes two people. So, yeah. Guess what, guys? George. I ain't George, nigga. I'm the Joker. I'm Lester. I'm going to Lester your ass out of everything that you had. That's why you're Lesser by Lester. And I'm George, 
the smart monkey that holds everything in his hand. So guess what? If I take your measly, stinky-ass hide to court Mike Nisley, and I guarantee you Mike Nisley, and I'm going to show everybody your truck, too, so they know what your truck looks like. There's your truck, dude. Well, I told you, I warned you, you don't want to get out of your truck after this day. Oh, he has pictures of Frontier City. Why don't you show those? Show the pictures of the kids. He's not supposed to be around kids. That's a cousin of hers, too. Oh, look at this. Cousin, but a kid. And he's not allowed around kids or a cousin. And that right there, smile even on a bad day is bullshit. A loyal friend is bullshit. Has a big heart. Goddamn liar. Fake ass bitch. He ain't worth shit. And right here, let me put it this way. He ain't no enforcer. He's not the advisor. He's not the bodyguard. Because if he was, he wouldn't put a hickey on an 11-year-old girl's neck. He's not a hitman because he can't fight. He runs from every fight he gets into. He might be a hitman if he hits you and run. That's the only way. Come up behind you and hit you and run, stab you. Um, the right-hand man, ain't, he ain't no right hand. He ain't no left hand either. Near is he the boss? And what does your mafia family look like? That's no mafia family. <laughs> and there's the pictures right there. So that tells you right there who has criminal acts, ideas. Oh, PSTD, post traumatic stress injury. PSTSI is a normal reaction to abnormal situations abnormal nigga not normal you might want to read that again you knew what you're getting into when you became a firefighter yep and i'm sorry i've been through a lot worse than fires i've been in fires and out of fires i've been in explosions and out of explosions i've been shot six fucking times nigga with a big caliber and been shot multiple times with a rifle caliber and some other things. You are not. It's an injury, not a disorder. A disorder you were are born with. However, PSTI or PSTI is a reaction to something you done done to you. So let me ask you something, Mike. Let me ask you something. That right there, Mike. Right there at the very bottom. Should say a lot. You put your hands on a little girl. You beat women. You do the shit you do. Did your daddy leave you after he touched you in your no-no spot? Or your uncle? Or your cousin that's older than you? Then ran out and got a pack of cigarettes saying he's going out for a pack of cigarettes and stayed gone for the rest of his life? Is that the reason why you did that to a little girl? No. The reason no, no, no. Read that. Why. Read I that. I know, but he said the reasoning why is because a girl by the name of Bethany Salt showed him her hoobie when he was six years old. Oh, wow. And it scarred him for life. Nigga, my cousin's girlfriend made me bust my nut. Younger than you, nigga. She rode me. My cousin fucked me in my ass and my mouth, nigga. You got shit to say? You want to talk about real PSTD, nigga? You want to really go there? You don't know shit. You better go to Steve Wilkos, nigga, because I'm going to call you a liar on every last bit of this bitch. Trust me. I think Bethany Phillips should get on there, too. Yeah, how about we get Bethany Phillips up on there, too? Oh. So, whatever. But here's another thing. I'm going to read out to you. It's right here on his page. If this is what he wanted, why don't you read it out, Maggie? It says, I want to make you the kind of happy that when you lay in bed at night, you're just like, wow, who even knew this was possible, which is wrong. That is so fucking wrong. You never did that. So you're a goddamn liar. Read this one out. Some of us have been through things so traumatic that 
the human mind isn't built to handle, but we fight and prosper every single day and night. If that's not strength, I don't know what is. Strength is not drinking. Strength is going on with your life, not taking pills, not going to a counselor and going to talk or drinking or touching a child under age, nigga. Violating innocence in a mass way. There's yeah, that, that right there. I have more strength than him because I've done all of that. Yeah, because she hasn't drank since the last time we got to spend time with each other to drink, which was last night. But all the other times before, she wasn't really drinking. We had a whole bottle of whiskey that we kept for a whole year unless we were sick. And when we were sick, what did I make, hun, that helped you out by doing what I did? was a homopathy or remedy mm -hmm. that is known for Wiccans, for old-time doctors, plague Native doctors, American. Native Americans, India, Israelites, all of them. What was it? Hot toddy. Oh, alcohol, buddy. Blankets. Keep the person warm. Keep them fed. Keep the temperature warm and high so they break the fever. There's multiple ways to skin a cat, nigga, and you're a cat. Okay? Here we go with the other one I'm going to go to. Oh, right here. How strong are you? 128%, nigga. You're in 128 percentile. You must be in the losing percentile because you're nowhere like this. You laugh even if some things you are sad. You, you're loving and giving even if sometimes you're exhausted. Your model is what doesn't kill you or what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. You never give up and learn from your mistakes. Uh, did I just read that correctly? Did I just read that correctly? Did I, am I, am I delusional? Am I crazy? Knock, knock. Somebody home. Cause I swear I saw that. I read that perfectly. Knock, knock. Keep knocking, because all you're talking is nonsense, dude. You're a net, you, dude, you are fucking seriously fucking up here on this part right here. Right here, what doesn't kill us, your model, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. You never, never give up and learn from your mistakes. Which makes you incredibly strong, man. I think that's a zero. What do you think? Because mm -hmm. if you never learn from your mistakes, what does that mean, hun? Is he going to do that to Don Neighbors' kids? Or any girl he gets with? I don't know. I don't trust him. No, read this, read this right here. Read what? Because you learn from your mistakes. No, but... you never. Read right there. Read right you never there. Never give up and learn from your mistakes. Still, you never give up and learn from your mistakes. Never means you never. And when you put and, that means you never learn from your mistakes. Proper English. Learn that. Proper English, niggas. English would tell you. Right here. As you can say that right there. You can see that bigger than day. Never. And when you put into a word, a sentence, that means you never learn from your mistakes. So, Mike, I'm sorry, homie, but I think you just caught yourself up in a catch-22. Am I right? Yeah. So I'm not delusional here, Mike. You're in a zero radius, homie. Very big zero radius. Oh, let's see. Let's go all the way here. I see you retiring at 60, bitch. Michael's good side. Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. Michael's bad side, Loki. <laughs> I do more Loki shit than you do. My snake is named, got tattooed Loki on it. You ain't no Loki, nigga. So quit playing. You might be a punk ass Batman, but you ain't no Iron Man. Bless kids, bitch. I'm sorry to say it. 
Uh, let's see. Here's Mike Nisley's daddy, right? No. Nope. Who's that? Uh, that was like a while ago, and if he would have known what he did to Tina, he would have shot him himself. Hey, old boy. This is you. If you ever get a picture showed, oh, luckily that nigga's passed away because he would, like Maggie said, he was shot your ass. And that tells you right there, old guy was shot your fucking ass. That knew you. There ain't no excuse. So what's this, Mike? What's this, nigga? What's that? I have a right to blast you, nigga. Real smart. Facebook photos. Not cool. Fucking fruit. You fruit cake. That was a Texas orange, nigga. That's a Texas orange. Texas navel. You sick. You a fruit cake. You fucking Texas oranges, nigga. Look where your thumb's at. Looks like a butthole, nigga. You fruit into the booty. <laughs> but I did to the India dude they called my girl telling her that her social security shit's fucked up oh beautiful day in Iowa yeah it's a beautiful day in Iowa cause you got away with the chomo charge nigga yeah my life you wouldn't be fucking lit thinking that and let's see oh here's some friends and they're an army oh yeah we're gonna have some fun just to warn you guys that chomo you're hanging out with that little kid in the background, you might want to keep away. Or any little kids. Because he is a fucking chomo. Mike. Let's read the comments. Let's read the comments. A great time with my friends. Having a good time with friends at Hutchinson, Kansas. But to let you know, friends, he's a chomo. He put a hickey on an 11-year-old girl's neck. So his friends are going to be on there too. So here you go. Friends, have fun. Because now you can disown that bitch. Brothers, don't let that little white Caucasian little punk fool you. Let's see what comments said. Well, that. What comments are for? Uh, 